You're listening to the Experiencing God Day by Day podcast, brought to you by Blackaby Ministries International. December 20th, Opposition, Matthew 2, verse 13. After they were gone, an angel of the Lord suddenly appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Get up, take the child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I tell you. For Herod is about to search for the child to destroy him. Whenever God clearly speaks to you and you obey his will, you can expect to face opposition. Spiritual assaults and attacks by the ungodly are not always signs that you are out of the will of God. They may even indicate that you are in the very center of God's will. Mary's husband, Joseph, was a righteous man who feared God, yet his obedience to God forced him to flee for his life to a foreign country. Joseph's hardship came not because of his sin, but because of his obedience. Although Joseph and Mary were forced to move to another country, they remained in the center of God's will. Jesus warned his disciples to expect persecution from the world as they obeyed the Father. He reminded them that they would not face persecution alone, for Jesus, too, had faced the hostility of the world and had been victorious. John 16, verse 33. Don't become discouraged when you face opposition. Opposition may indicate that you are acting in obedience to God. Do not let opposition cause you to doubt God's will. Examine your heart. If you have done what you know he has asked you to do, trust him to see you through the antagonism that comes from those who are not walking with him. When they encountered persecution, the disciples did not ask God to remove their opponents, but to give them boldness as they faced opposition. Acts 4, verses 24 to 31. God's will for you may involve hardship, as it did for his son. John 15, verse 20. But he loves you and will not allow you to face more than you are able to handle. This podcast is based on the book Experiencing God Day by Day by Henry and Richard Blackaby. Published by B&H Publishing Group. Music by Mark Brown.